you enjoy this video, then make sure to go ahead and press the like and subscribe buttons. You can also join the channel to receive early access to our videos by pressing the join button below. There's a tab and backing track available for this lesson. You can get those as well as over a hundred others and other benefits by clicking the card or the link in the description for our Patreon site. All right, let's look at this lesson. I'm going to show you some positions that you can play non-pedal scales or non-pedal licks. So what I simply mean by that is we're not going to use any pedals or knee levers to achieve these. I know I've talked before, like Buddy Emmons had some lessons and he called them pockets. And that's really a good term for it. It's actually positions that you can play that you may not normally use. So we're just using, uh, in this lesson, C for a reference. And the first one I played was this. So that one actually starts at the 11th fret. Now if we have our A pedal and F knee lever here at the 11th, we do have a C chord. But you may not think about, there's actually some C notes uh, that we can play here at the 10th fret. So there's actually quite a few notes here. For this one then, uh, we're going to play our 6th string at the 11th fret, our 7th string, and then slide it back. Okay, so that gets us back to the 10th fret. So we did 6, 7 at the 11th fret. Slide that 7th string back without picking it again. Okay, here at the 10th we play 8, then we play 7, 8, 9. So now we've got this. Okay, now we're going to tie two positions together. We're going to play our 10th string here at the 10th fret, slide it to the 8th. So now we have this. Or you could go up. Okay, you see how those work? Okay, so now we've got this one then. Okay, now at our eighth fret, that's our common position for C. We're going to start a lick here and tie a uh, position here at the sixth and fifth fret. So this is going to get us down to the sixth fret. And this one does this. Okay, so that one you play your fifth string at the eighth, your sixth string at the ninth, and slide it back. So we have fifth string eight, sixth string nine, slide it, ninth fret, slide it back to eight. Go seven. Six, seven, and slide it to the sixth fret. So now we have. Okay, again, real quick. Fifth string, eighth fret, sixth string, ninth, slide it to the eighth fret on the sixth string, seven, six, seven, and then slide seven back to the sixth fret. And it ends here at the 6th fret, 6, 7. 6th string, 7th fret. That's a C note. Okay, so now we got... Okay, the next one, we're going to go off of our 6th to our 5th fret. And this one is like this. Okay, so this one starts where we ended the second lick. You go here at the 6th fret, you go 6, 7, slide that string back one fret, 7th string back to the 5th fret, 8, 7, 6, and 10th string at the 6th, then at the fifth. Okay, then the last one. Okay, 
add that one is from our third fret to our first fret. You go seven, eight, nine. Ninth string at the second fret. Go back to your third fret, eight, nine. Then ninth string again at the second fret. Tenth string at the third, then slide it to the first fret. Okay, again this one. At the third fret you play seven, eight, nine, then nine will go to the second fret. Go back to the third fret, play eight, nine, your ninth string will go back to the second fret again. Go back to your third fret, pick your tenth string, and slide it to the first. Okay, then I ended it with a lick, more like a phrase, a musical phrase. These, these sound more like scales, and I tied these together, and the lick was this. Okay, then the lick, uh, you play your 10th string at the 1st fret, 3rd fret, 1st fret, 3rd fret on the 10th, then you play your ninth string on the 2nd, then slide it to the 3rd, play 8 here at the 3rd. Okay, then we play our ninth string, slide it to the uh, fifth fret. Here at the fifth fret, we go eight, seven. When we hit our seventh string, we slide it up one fret to the sixth. And here at the sixth fret, we play six, then seven, and slide that seventh string to the eighth fret. So now we've got this. Then we go six, five. Go to your uh, ninth fret, play your sixth string, then slide it to the eighth fret. Okay. Okay, then slower. Okay, then you could simply go on up to the 11th fret. So that's, that's the idea I want you to work on, is, is tying these together. You know it's it's endless and hopefully you'll what what you do too is and I do this often is I, I find things that are more natural for me to play and then I work those out same notes but maybe I like the way this one moves down the fret instead of ending it here. Because if I'm here, then I can go down to the sixth fret. And 
that's the way you come up with your licks and your phrases. Also, one more thing, just in closing, if you're going from C to F for the next lick or the next chord, you may want to end those licks down here closer to your first fret. And that gets you right here to F. And if you had the next chord was an F, then you would be right here at it. So think, uh, that's another way you need to think and approach your play. All right, so give these a try. I hope you liked it, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we just want to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching and supporting us here. We'd like to especially thank our supporters on YouTube and Patreon, our Tier 3 supporters, Jim, Gary, M. Medlock, and William. So on behalf of Jacob and I, keep picking.